Hi everyone. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay. Hi else. <laughs> Hi, Sir Stempelot. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Karina. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to all of you from Holland. Hi, Belinda. Good to see you. Okay, I am trying to um, show you my face today. <laughs> and then I'm trying to turn back the camera in a minute uh, so you can see the new product. So, But I just wanted to be... Um, well, uh, welcoming you, uh, all of you, <laughs> before we start. So, uh, giving it a few seconds more to for everybody to join. I see a lot of people coming, joining us. Hi, hello everyone. There are too many of you um, to, to call all your names, so I'm sorry for that. I see some... <laughs> Hi Janet, good to see you. Hi Michelle, Lisanne. Hi Sue. So good to see you all every, uh, over here. Uh, normally it would be uh, else on a Friday night. Hi Alice. Uh, but um, well, I'm here today to show you um, the new collection. It's called Time to Travel. And I hope we are able to travel uh, again or go out more than the last two years. So um, <laughs> hi Belinda, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I am doing it. Okay, thanks, David. <laughs> so, but it's a little bit confusing for me now because I see two screens right in front of me. So I don't know where to look. So if you see my eyes going like this, <laughs> it's because of uh, me seeing two screens. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kat. Hi, Els. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is my craft room. It's a really small... Uh, place and you see some of my uh, vintage ephemera in the back uh, that's for my Etsy shop some planners over there too of course um, and the rest is on top of there so you can't see them now but <laughs> I think I've oh you, you see a little bit in, in the corner uh, well no I'm not going to point my finger <laughs> it's on top there somewhere there there's a whole row of planners over there <laughs> okay Oh, Karen, you ordered already. That's great. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Hi, Femke. Oh, happy birthday, Femke. Well, um, I'm not that good in singing, so <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> Maybe David can sing, but you won't hear him. Hi, Anne. Leuk dat je er ook bent. Hi, Cora. Okay. Um, well, I think I will turn my camera around so you can see my desk and then I'm going to tell you all about the new collection, um, what you can do with it and give you some samples of our lovely design team. I've got the samples here from the design team from the Netherlands. Uh, I think other design team members are sending their products or their creations, their artwork to else. So I do have a, a quite a lot to show to you. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Diane. <laughs> Hi, Ans. Good to see you too. Orders placed. Oh, that's good. And you haven't seen anything of it yet. That's really nice. Well, you have seen probably uh, a lot of samples of the design team today online. So that will be great. <laughs> uh, Hi, Jona. Hi, Rick. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera and uh, it might be possible that I have to... Um, um, well, make sure everything is visible for you. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Let me see if this works. Okay. Uh, now I'm in trouble because I don't know how to turn the camera while being live. That's a good one. Else, help! <laughs> there used to be a button and I don't see it. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> now I'm in big trouble already. Let me see if somebody can help me out. How can I turn the camera uh, while being live? 
I just tried it, when, but then I wasn't live yet, so... Let me see if somebody... You look drunk. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not drunk. <laughs> not drunk at all. Okay. Now, but I have to see if I can turn the camera. Otherwise, you will be seeing everything upside down. I have no idea, girls and boys. Sorry. <laughs> there is some button here. No, 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 no. Technical issues. Yes, we. it looks like we are fond of them. <laughs> David, are you still there? Do you know how I can turn my camera? Or else... Nancy, no, you don't have a clue. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Hi, Claire. Oh, bummer. This is really a bummer. Yeah, you start laughing at me. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping it up. Yeah, that might be possible too, but that's not so funny. Uh, okay, that's a good idea. I will do that. Hmm. No, 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 I'm not going offline because then there will be two videos. Patiently, no stress. <laughs> Nobody can help me. Yeah, I see the switch. I always see a switch, but not when I'm live. That's really crazy. I see a button doing something, but I'm afraid to touch that one. Let me see. There's a plus. No. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, David, he doesn't know too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to do it differently. I am going to show you everything and I will keep it like this. Okay, so you have to see my face. Take it out and turn it. No, you can't take it out. It's in the stand. <laughs> okay, to start with. Else, just comment it. Else, else, else. Okay, let me see if I see else. Patiently, else. Yeah, I can see it. Ah, I got, I got, I got it. Yes. <laughs> okay, I was looking for the wrong button. Okay, we are here. Okay, <laughs> thanks, thanks so much. <laughs> Click on the screen. Okay, I hope it's all a little bit, yeah, <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Take it out, no, okay, no, it's okay like this. Okay, <laughs> yes, we did it. Okay, um, to start with, the blue planner. Uh, it's available in Europe. From from today, from tomorrow, the um, the shops uh, were able to order today, so you can order from your favorite shop. Uh, it is available in Europe right now, but unfortunately, it didn't arrive in the US yet. So um, I hope it will be there soon. Uh, but else, we'll keep you guys all updated. So that's about the planner. Then we have -da 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 -da, book number four. And uh, I must say, <laughs> it's gorgeous again. It's always a surprise when it comes uh, back from the printing company, from the publisher. publisher. But uh, it's really nice. I will go uh, through it later on. So I will put it aside for now, together with this beauty. And, oh, sorry, again, uh, the book, book number four, um, is available, also available in Europe. And unfortunately, not in the US yet. Uh, the book has been printed in Holland, here in the Netherlands. And now it needs to be shipped by boat uh, to the US. So um, that might take, well, I think about a week or six. So uh, please be patient um, for those books. But it's worth uh, the wait, worthwhile, worthwhile waiting for. So, I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to walk you through all the new die sets. And this is the first one. Oh, and I'm going to look at the comments, of course. Oh, I'm glad you love the blue. <laughs> the book, yes. Oh, I see a lot of positive comments. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Belinda, you have some time to save some money <laughs> for the book. <laughs> Be patient and it will come your way. Okay, this is um, the porthole page. And I think it's might just as well show you. Uh, no, I will do that later. I'm going to show you them uh, very quickly. And then I will go 
in uh, a little bit deeper on all the sets. So this is the porthole set. Then we have um, the sea creatures set. So it has uh, an octopus, a fish and all kinds of fun stuff to work with. Uh, and this is one, a gorgeous one with a rope border on the side. And maybe you can see that this, the, the sets are a little bit wider than before, like these. These were the normal ones, but um, sometimes when making a set there are so many ideas and some elements I really want to add to them. So then uh, that's why we had to change the packaging a little bit. So it's a little bit wider and there are some more elements in it. So it's much more prettier this way than putting dies on the back side. So we had to ch make the decision to make them a little bit wider. Um, this one is a really summer one with a, a fruity border, a little beach houses and a cute chair. Then this one has a little uh, file folder thingy <laughs> and all kinds of fun elements which I'm going to show you later on too. And there's a cool add-on set to the iris shutter um, die set which we had a couple of months ago. So these elements you can use in combination with that set. Okay, going back to set number one. Uh, yes, I think I'm going to show you the porthole one first. I cut out some elements to show you. And this might be making a lot of noise. <laughs> but just to show you wh uh, what you will get when you die cut it. Of course, the full page, which is this one. And it has three portholes, three windows, and you can de decorate them any way you like. Uh, on the back side of the packaging is the sample I made, uh, which is now at Els, uh, Els's place at the office in the US. So I can't show this to you for real, but it's on the back side of the packaging. So if you buy the set, uh, this will give you an idea too. And these are some elements I just cut out uh, to make uh, more pages in the future. So you have the three windows over here, which you can fill up with acetate. There's one of the big words saying summer. Here are some pieces of acetate I have ready to use. Uh, there's a strip with uh, the uh, new reinforcers. And this one is the camera. We had something similar before. Uh, but that was a little suitcase and some people were mixing them up or confusing them uh, that it was a camera, but this is the camera um, reinforcer which comes with this set. Then there is um, starfish, I think it's called, yes. I cut a few of those too. A little uh, steering wheel, I think. How do you call this? Yeah, I think so. A steering wheel. Uh, a fish, of course. An anchor. And you've got those little tiny uh, elements over here. Um, and they are screws or uh, nail heads. I think <laughs> that's what you call them. And these are really cute to use in your designs over here around the circles. So that's a really uh, fun set. And now I am going to put this back in my folder. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be really messy in about in a few minutes and I want to keep everything together. And I am also going to show you this set because these two, um, you can, of course, you can mix and match everything, but these two go really well together. And that's what you also can see um, on the back of this packaging. This is set number uh, 1940, Sea Creatures. And on the back of the packaging, and I hope you can see it, uh, I'm going to put it a little bit more close to the camera. And there's a little delay in the a ship's wheel. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, nail heads for, for the porthole. Okay, as you can see here, here I use the porthole page with the three windows. And then I use the octopus um, uh, from the from this set so you can really combine those two uh, together and it really looks nice I hope you can see it and I saw Debbie Debbie yes they are available uh, over here but I'm not sure uh, where to buy them in the UK uh, I will ask in Dutch um, weet iemand um, waar je deze setjes um, in Engeland kan kopen of uh, anders even een link in het Nederland, naar een Nederlandse winkel die ze verkoopt misschien. 
uh, Debbie, I asked uh, if the people knew uh, where to buy them in the UK or otherwise they can put down a link um, with, the sh with one of the shops who sells them in Holland. Hope that helps for you, okay? So, um, turning it back around again. And I am going to grab my sea creatures. And also, that this set has some really cool elements. And I am starting with a fish. <laughs> I think when I put it down here, it's visible for you guys, right? Okay. And this one has a solid background, the fish, and then you've got this overlay. The same here for the shell. So you can glue those two together. There's a little binocular, binocular, a difficult word for me to pronounce. And um, an oxygen, oxygen bottle for when you go scuba diving. And this is the helmet of the octopus and you can cut it twice so you can uh, put on a different one at his head, on his head, at his head. So also the octopus has a solid background. Then this is the overlay and if you want you can put on an extra helmet. So you can layer everything on top of each other. Um, this is a porthole with the the arms, or do you say arms or legs from an octopus? I don't know. Arms, legs, I call it arms. His arms around um, a porthole, and then there's this extra porthole which you can put on top of it. So it gives uh, much more dimension to your artwork when you use it like this. Um, I printed out uh, one of the samples which is at Elsa's place, so it's a little bit more better or easier for you to see. Uh, it's the same what I did over here, you see, the background, this one, then you put this uh, porthole on top of it and then from another uh, piece I cut off some of his arms, legs <laughs> and put them around the other windows. So that's just to give you an idea what you can do with this set. And I am thinking of showing you how to assemble this on uh, Tuesday during my live on YouTube. So. If you are interested in um, seeing me making a page, uh, probably this one or this one, I will do that on the li in the live on uh, Tuesday on YouTube. So now I'm going to put those back in and I'm going to show you some of the samples of the design team with those sets. And I can put these aside. Let me see if I put all things Aside, which I don't need anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, this one, not everything um, did fit in the planner, so I left something aside and I am going to show that to you too. Okay, let me see if I. Oh, I missed a lot of comments, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, do I need to read back? <laughs> did I miss anything? If you travel by boat. Oh, tentacles. Yeah, same as in Dutch. <laughs> tentacles, tentacles. Okay. Um, the first one I want to show to you is uh, two gorgeous pages made by Anita. And as you can see, uh, she left the, the portholes open, which I think has a really cool effect. Maybe I should take it out and put it on a white sheet of paper so you can see. Let me see if I can find something. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this way it's better for you to see, I think. And I'm going to put it a little, hold it a little bit closer to the camera. So I think you can see it. Yes, okay, that's it. And you know uh, all the beautiful pages Anita makes, all the details. And she also cut off some of the tentacles <laughs> to wrap around... Um, Oh, no, no, she didn't. These are the basic tentacles, but it's it's a little bit the same effect as I did, but I cut a few more and I wrapped them around the other uh, porthole. And as you can see, she also made two um, of those oxygen bottles and she uh, cut a little piece of the one, one and then it's a little bit smaller. So it's really cool to see how she did this. Anita, I like it. I'm not sure if you're still watching, but <laughs> it's really cool. 
and then this one I'm also going to put it on a blank page so it's better for you to see and you can see the the bright colors and also this one is everything is open and again really uh, a lot of details a little tag and this one also has some shakier material inside the anchor the fish hanging upside down which is really cool too so I think this is a really um, good way to show it to you okay so thank you Anita for these turning this one aside and this beautiful one with a cute dog <laughs> it's been made by Marga and as you can see it's a completely different style than Anita but also really fun uh, and beautiful to see and Marga she cut the little uh, screw heads or nail heads from I think it's the metallic uh, stuff from Tim Holtz I'm guessing it is <laughs> but I'm not sure so that's a beautiful one too then David's one which is really well if you see this you want to go on a summer holiday immediately at least I, I want <laughs> I want <laughs> it's beautiful also with the the shiny uh, I think this is also from Tim Holtz the material some pieces of uh, my old paper I see over here and but it has the same blue uh, shades as we have now in uh, in the new book i'm turning it around to see one of marga again much more um how do you say it mixed media she used on the back side so it's a really rusty effect on the octopus over here and also um on the portal and i think uh, over here i'm not sure if you can see it I'm going to put it a little bit closer again and uh, she used those little tiny screws and they are um, not eyelets but the other things um, I can't come up with the name but <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean uh, from Tim Holtz the little uh, split banner but I don't know the English word right now yes we all want to go cruising Jona we should go all together <laughs> how, how much fun would that be really cool <laughs> and then over here another one from David also here the porthole I hope you can see it and he made uh, a file folder he, and this one is also in the sets I'm going to tell you a little bit more about later on but it's really fun uh, to see how we used some vellum here and then stamped uh, on it and some gorgeous pictures inside so that's a beautiful one too. Now over here, another one with the sea creatures. So again, the octopusy with Tim Holtz um, thingies. <laughs> yes, it's Esther with the thingies again, breads. Yes, <laughs> thank you girls. <laughs> um, and here is the porthole page again. And this one is made by Anne because I see Anne on the picture. So that's not so hard to remember. And then you have to see what she did on the back. Here's the porthole again. And that's really gorgeous uh, and behind the portal you see the octopus again and then this system is from one of the new releases from um Yoset. you know it's i think it's called up pull up or pull down pull up card and you can apply that one on cards but also in your journal of course so i think it's really cool how anna uh, tried to hide the octopus behind um the porthole don't you think that's gorgeous It's really good. It's really cool, I think. Of course, very cute with the fishes. So that one is from Anna too. Uh, here we go on to the next set and I am going to show you that one now. So this is called uh, a rope, like a rope from a cruise vessel or a boat or, you know, those wh white uh, pieces of rope. And it has uh, a pocket which you can put on any other page too. You don't need to use it on the rope uh, page. But um, yeah, you can use it on any other page you already have. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. So you can put all fun stuff, cute elements inside it. Just like Anna did on this page. And I, So you can see you can tuck everything in it which you want to keep. Pictures, tickets. 
uh, some quotes or you can write down some journaling and put it in the pockets and it's a long version of something similar we did um, in the beginning and um, if you want to use this pocket in the sidekick collection that's also possible just uh, cut off uh, a piece from the top if you cut off some from the bottom then you don't have a pocket on uh, down here so oh and i just saw a, po uh, a question popping by about uh, sidekick um, dice i'm working on a new uh, sidekick series too so but i can't do everything at the same time so there are still going to be new sidekick dice too um, here is one i made not completely finished but i wanted to show it to you and it's the same page and I just uh, glued it down on a white piece of cardstock as you can see on the back and then I trimmed off the edges over here um, also some pockets uh, sorry <laughs> pockets <laughs> and I put in some cards labels and in this set is also a really cool new um, reinforcer and I like to use uh, a reinforcer like this on tags, on cards, but you can also use it uh, as a normal reinforcer um, for the rings. So, but there's only one in it, so if you want to use it for a full page, then you have to cut it six times. But okay, there are worse things. <laughs> so that's not really a problem, I guess. So this is my sample. I'm going to put this back in and then I'm going to show you some more samples from the design team made with this set and um, I had it enlarged also printed here so it's a little bit bigger but my printer was acting a little bit strange this afternoon so it's huge and I'm not sure if you're able to see it and I'm sorry if I don't uh, I'm not able to answer all your questions or comments which I'm seeing at the moment because there are too many <laughs> Yeah, the square thingy is also a, a reinforcer, Femke. And this is a large print I did this afternoon. So, um, yeah, you could able to see it a little bit better. But uh, it's the same page I just showed you um, for real. And then here it was Anna's page with the border. And that's, yeah, I already showed it to you. And here we have a beautiful one by David, made by David. So I'm, I think I need to put it a little bit closer to the camera. Um, David, I'm not sure. Did you already do a video with this one or a live? No, a live, you can't have, you can't have been doing a live. No, <laughs> because the, the introduction is today. But I think you were telling me that you were going to do a live with this one. No, sorry, a video. So, please correct me if I'm wrong. So, David did something here with embossing powder and it really looks very, very cool. So, I hope you can see it. And also, uh, tickets, uh, stamps, pictures uh, he used in the pocket. Oh, and I see a really cool bread over here too. Can you see that? Oh, no, I have to go. It's here. That's a cool thingy too. <laughs> Don't know what it's called, but I like it. And life is good. So that's for the rope samples I have over here. Yes. Oh, no, no, sorry. I forget Marga, Marga, yours. <laughs> and I think it's Marga's grandson um, at the swimming pool. Swimming lessons, probably. It's just my guess. I'm not sure if that's correct, Marga. Uh, and also the rusty effect on the fishes and the shell. That's really cool. And it's the same border page again, the row border. Then I am moving on. Um, let me see, because I had everything in order, but now I'm mixed up a little bit. Oh no, now I know why this one is here. This is also uh, the same pocket with the six, um, yeah, the same die with the six pockets, but in the famous uh, Marie Claire style. Everything in black and white. And again, pictures in here, tickets. Uh, oh, what, what did she do here? Going places. And then she made a little hole in here. So it's some kind of more like a tag, you know? That's really nice. I didn't see that yet. <laughs> so I'm going to place it really carefully, put it back in. So she will get everything back <laughs> uh, the way she sent it to me. But it's uh, just to show you how different it is 
um, when using different colors of paper or just using your own style, making it your own style. I really like it. I'm also going to show you the other side of the page um, just because I'm, I'm, I'm having it here. And again, black and white with the new stamps, new stamps over here. And this is also one of the new stamps and the little girl, which I think she looks a bit like a flight attendant. So that's really appropriate uh, for her daughters to go on a, yeah, I think they went on a city trip. Yes, they went to London. <laughs> that's what it says. Okay, moving over to, this is number 1939, the Fruity Summer Set. And how fun, um, well, oh, let me see. Think of this one, um, yeah, like the with the beach, beach houses, cocktails, things like that. So really uh, a happy summer page. Uh, sorry, something falls down over here. Okay, it's okay now. So think of beach, summer, beach houses, those cool looking chairs and a nice cocktail in your hands or something and yeah how, how how good life can be and this beauty and now i don't know who made this oh i'm sorry girls i have no idea <laughs> how bad is that because uh you were sending me the samples and then i'm going to put them in order um of my plan in my plan showing them to you so i guess let me be thinking i was thinking um my first idea is Anita, of course, but I'm not sure if she made this one. I think she did. Anita, is this yours? <laughs> and otherwise it's Marga, maybe. But I think it's a really fight and funny and cheerful uh, summer page. And also some of the sea creatures and the little lemons. It's really, really a nice page. Did I do something? Oh yes, of course. I use it myself too. And also this one on the back, you can see the samples I made of the packaging. Um, I used it with some pictures uh, of my husband and myself, the dogs, the beach houses and the fruity borders on the side. So these are all the elements uh, separately. And here you can see how I did it just quickly uh, a full page then you cut out um, the largest of the dies where is it <laughs> the main page you know the big one and then I glued some yellow paper uh, behind it and then you can glue it down on a full page again if you want but that's the way how I like to work and then you have those little cute houses and you can also make cards with it or well, you can do anything you like and this chair, what do you think of this chair? And there's also an umbrella and binoculars. So you can make a whole scenery um, with a beachy summer holiday theme. So again, something completely different uh, in this set. And he oh, here's the one which is on the back of the packaging. So I'm going to put this down for a while so you can see. And I noticed there's a little um, more delay in my life than usual so uh, I think I have to wait for a few seconds oh, and this is um, one of the steps stamps sorry from the ticket set which is one of the older sets elder sets but it's still really cool to use and it also fits uh, for oh this is it's it, it went sorry <laughs> Uh, it came with the ticket, like this ticket, but you can also use it on any other page, of course. So, uh, I will leave this here, putting this one aside. Oh yes, Kim, that would be nice too. Some of your set's animals on the chair. Sand castle also, yeah, that's a good idea to, to make a combination. Oh, really nice. <laughs> A birdhouse, yes. You can you can put um, a little piece of paper at the bottom, like a, a pole, you know, and then it's a birdhouse. That's a good idea too. Really fun. So, um, yeah, it's it's all a little bit uh, summer, bright, happy. We want to be happy. I I only want to talk about happy things tonight. 
Okay, uh, a cool page from David again, also with the, the lemon or the, the fruity, juicy summer border, the chair, the umbrella and a nice picture with uh, something in the water which I don't see what it is. What is it David? A huge fish or something? <laughs> I can't see what it is. Okay, uh, then another set and I'm going to show you how you can use them. Because actually this is a, a die set and a matching stamp set. So uh, it's really cool. And a lot of you have been asking to when I do my uh, girls uh, to make a matching die. So this is the first one with a matching die. So you don't have to do all the fussy cutting. So um, that's this one. And I, oh, sorry. I am going to show you uh, all the elements before I start showing you the samples of the design team. Yeah, would that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm putting this aside a little bit because I need a little bit more space over here and I'm taking my stuff out to see what you can do with this, these two sets. So, there's a lot, <laughs> as you can see. So, the, the big one, the main frame is this big part and that one gives you uh, a folder with a window and I think this looks a little bit like one of the old uh, photo slides uh, we used to have well many years ago I think it's from the 70s 60s 70s and I just cut out a couple of them um, so I can use them um, soon but when I was doing it and I think I told that before in Dutch a couple of days ago uh, how cool would it be if you uh, cut out a lot of those and then you start bookbinding, you know? So it really is a cool mini book like that. If you use your bookbinding techniques, if you don't know how to do bookbinding, just Google. I'm not an expert too, but um, in bookbinding, but it's really fun to do so. And if you want, you can flip this around so you have a window at the bottom. So I think it's a really cool idea to make a mini book like that. And I might try that one day, <laughs> I hope. Okay, so then the stamps. I need to tell you something about it because um, just in case we are getting questions about it, it's better to answer, the, answer them uh, in advance. So this is the stamp which comes with the matching die and then you have this little cute girl. Uh, can you see it like this? Yeah, uh, the little... Um, now I don't know her name again. I know I just mentioned it and now I don't know anymore. But um, here she is and she's really cute. Uh, she has a, a stamp or a sign uh, in her hands and you can write something down over there. Or you maybe do, uh, one of the little stamps do fit. Can I do a tutorial? Yes, David, I can. But bookbinding is not my um, <laughs> one of my strong points. So, <laughs> okay. But here's the little girl. Then we have uh, this stamp and this part comes from uh, what you used to see in a video recorder. You know, when you were filming, instead of filming with our phones, you had those video recorders. And then it will, it will give you a stamp like this. But with this matching frame, which you can see over here, uh, it will give you this. So I hope it makes sense. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to put it down on a piece of cardstock. So this is a really cool frame. You can put vellum in it, you can put a picture in it, you can journal in it, anything you like. And this one has a, a brown border and this one has a, a black distressed edge. So it's the stamp in combination with this die, which will give you this frame. That's a really nice one. Oh, the girl I can put aside, I just showed it to you. Then there are some really cool, cute elements like these. Just um, yeah, some little fun elements to play with. Uh, I just cut them out and so you can see what they are. Some really tags, labels, the tiny ones. Really cute to, um, yeah, to finish off your page. You can stamp on it, write on it, names, numbers, whatever you like. There's uh, a small, I call it a shopping bag die. And this mini door hanger. <coughs> I hope you can see it. Let me see. Uh, a mini door hanger. Yeah. 
And then, let me see. Well, I think these are my favorites, one of my favorites. Um, those uh, slider frames, these are the stamps. And this is the matching die. So you can stamp it if you want and then trim it off by hand. But then it's always hard to um, cut out the, the middle part. So that's why we made, or I made, <laughs> I designed a matching die for it. So you can uh, die cut them. So there are six different stamps. Um, let me see, this one is over here. This one has the bingo numbers, love words then this one over here and the last one is that one there is also and that's what you really need to know if you buy this set and that's about this stamp and this die set they are not made to go together and i'm going to tell you why uh, let me see oh sorry guys for the questions which i'm not answering <laughs> But there's so many things to tell, so... Okay, I hope you don't mind. And when you stamp this one, I am going to show you, you will get this. You see, these two I stamped. So this one is stamped on a piece of paper and you can just cut it with a pair of scissors yourself. It only has a little um, thump over here. So that's really an easy one to cut yourself by hand and stamp. And then if you've been doing that, you can stamp on it and it's a really a nice element to use in your journal. Now, I've got the same element over here, but that's a die cut. And I couldn't match the die cut and the stamp because that way, um, yeah, it's a little bit technical uh, issue. But if you design dies, uh, you always have to make a certain distance and um, there needs to be a room to uh, poke out your elements. So what happens if you are stamping this and then die cutting him? It will give you this. Well, that's not really what I like. So please don't do that unless you like it. But it's just the stamp with a tiny um, yeah, white edge. And it's not really nice, I think. But you can do it if you want. But they are not supposed to go together. What what my plan was with this die and this one, because these two go together, is you can layer those two. So this one is this frame over here in the corner. And this one is the, the actual film die. So I hope you can see what I mean. This is really beautiful to layer on top of each other. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I will put it over here for a while so everybody can see. And this is just a more layering effect. I also cut out one in black, so you can see what's happening. It's much more, um, yeah. I think it's prettier this way than um, die cutting the stamp. But there are two different purposes. So it's this one for stamping, and you can trim it off yourself. And then this one, these two go together for die cutting. So please don't forget. <laughs> I told you. Um, well, I think that's all I needed to tell about this set. So I'm going to put this aside and show you some samples. There are samples in the back, of course, for you for your inspiration if you buy the set. So you can watch it oh, at home. And here I have some samples of the design team again. Uh, over here you can see Anna used uh, one of the frames inside the new um, pocket pages. And I'm not sure if I can take it off. No, I don't, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to. No, it's, yes, no, yes, sorry, Anna. Yeah, I've got it. So I hope you can see it because it's really fun what she did. Um, this is the frame she cut out. And then here she did some stamping with embossing powder. And this is a mat. So the mat fits um, the pocket pages and then she glued this one on top. So that's really, I thought it was a fun idea. A really good idea, Anne, Anne Anna. <laughs> um, well, some cute elements uh, in the pocket pages. Over here you see David um, using the stamps on some craft stock, craft cardstock. I hope you can see it. Yeah, I think so. 
and he put pictures in it so that's really fun too and then over here why is this one here oh yes it's on again with the largest folder oh no is it marga this is marga's page or is it anna marga sorry <laughs> sorry girls <laughs> you confuse me sometimes also very cute with pictures inside a picture in the frame and a little uh, piece of twine which holds everything together <laughs> And I'm trying to put this down. Yeah, okay, here it comes. And over here, oh, this one is a really cool one to see. Let me see what I've got over here. Oh yeah, I've got two more. Uh, this one from uh, Anita again, which is really detailed. Um, some people in the Netherlands might have seen it last week when I showed it to you uh, during a sneak peek. But this one is really gorgeous too. Yeah, you were, you were in the picture, David. I saw it. <laughs> uh, thanks, Suzanne. Yes, the design team is fabulous. And I, I don't have all the samples here because we also have Pia in Denmark and we have um, Karen in uh, Canada, Annette in the US. So it's a really versatile team and so many, many um, beautiful projects. So I'm really grateful uh, to have them. Do you say that to have them? Well, I don't own them, but uh, yeah, I, li I like them and I like what they are doing. So uh, this one is from Anita and this one is really detailed. A lot of distress techniques used, the coloring of the girl. And I noticed she even has some eyeshadow on top of her eyelids, which is really cute. <laughs> I hope you can see it. I put it a little bit closer, <laughs> but that's uh, the details from Anita. Uh, also the frames on top of each other, a ticket and look at the inside, how gorgeous that is. And here she used some uh, shaker material inside uh, the, the video frame, stamps on the back side as a, as a background pattern, little tags over here with all details, little pieces of twine, tabs, a slider frame with an actual uh, negative in it which is really, really cool. Uh, more tags. And you can see she also used uh, this new um, reinforcer, the square one. Uh, another tag here, which is, it looks like it's laminated. Really nice. And on the back side, it's the half, the other half of this um, frame. I think it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so that's a beautiful one too. And then the last one, and I think this is from Anna, and she used a, I'm not sure if you can hear it, a magnet. Can you hear it? How cool is that? So it closes perfectly. And uh, also a picture in the frame, uh, behind the frame, the girl, <laughs> and here she has some space for journaling and a cute picture using these words and uh, yeah, as little details to, to finish off your uh, page. So these were the samples for these sets and now I am moving over to the last one. And what time is it? Okay, there's a lot of talking for me to do. So I'm going to take some water, just a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, <coughs> sorry, the last set, that's this gorgeous one. And there is uh, a sample on the back side, of course. And here you can see uh, a, a large print of the, of the one I made um, for the packaging. So I hope yeah, you can see it now. It's really strange the delay. It it's, looks like it's a little bit longer than usual. I'm trying to keep it up for you so it's not that shiny because of the lights above but i think yes okay now i can see it i think it's good for you to see it this way oh my gosh <laughs> is there where uh, uh oh my <laughs> do we have a hacker or what is it <laughs> okay um yeah this is, as you can see, the um, Irish shutter, shutter, sorry, the Irish shutter die set. And um, the add-ons, they all go together with this set. So if you have the Irish shutter, you, got, 
you can use all these dies on top of that one. Uh, I do have some samples, of course, but uh, if you don't have the Irish shutter, you can also use them uh, on, on their own as decorative elements. So you don't need to own this one to be able to use that one. So, for example, on this page, and again, this is a print book because the original one is in the US. Uh, as you can see here, I use this element just uh, for making a decorative background. And you see, I use some pieces on, in the back. So that's one of the, the things you, that you can do with those. And of course, I have some samples and some cutouts. So you can see what they look like when they are cut. Well, this is the one I just showed you um, on this sample. So that's a really cool one. Um, this is the Irish shutter on its own and I know it's a little bit hard. I'm not sure if it will work. Oh yes, I can open and close it. And on this one, I put those two and those two uh, have to go together. Well, it's the most pretty if you use them together. So there are two different ones with the leaves and you put them on top of each other. And then they are great to use on your uh, Irish shutter, but you can also use them <coughs> on any other project, of course, making cards. One with the flowers and this gorgeous one. Well, it's it's a pretty one on its own. How cool would this be with only a picture in here or some other decorative element or something else you might like. So there's a lot of uh, things and possibilities with this set. And of course, I do have some samples to show you too. So I'm going to put this aside, this aside. And then, and they are not in a planner, sorry, because it didn't fit. <laughs> so here is one from Anne, and she used uh, the large decorative element on top of the Irish shutter, as you can see. So how cool is that? And yes, I'm very good in front of the camera. <laughs> then there's this one, and it's a lot of bling bling from David. And... As you can see, uh, it's a little bit hard for me now because um, the paper is not that uh, sturdy, this one. So it's hard for me to move it. But as you can see, uh, some decorative elements over here, the um, camera reinforces and uh, it really looks cool. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, Teresa. <laughs> Just go ahead and take all my money. I love it. Yeah, domes. Yes, they would be great if they if they fit. I think they will. It depends on the size, of course. And this one, I think it's from Anne. But, oh, no, no, no. It's Marga because I see her dog. Sorry, Marga. It's yours. I see your lovely dog. And how cute is this? Uh, because this one is for the Sidekick collection. So you can see the different sizes. The Sidekick and this is the full size planner. So you can use them in both. So... This was my whole um, yeah, story for the planner sets. We talked about the stamps. I showed you one of the larger stamp sets. We have two uh, smaller stamp sets. And I am going to show you a little bit about those. I also prepared something, of course, to show you. Because it's almost um, a little bit more fun to show you the real thing instead of uh, only the packaging. Uh, some stamps and I did some um, doodling around it and then uh, cut them. So the stamp it's uh, only the the, uh, the text on its own and the doodles I made myself just with a pen and then cut them out. These stamps over here are really cool too. There are two, four, six, eight stamps with different um, sentiments. Wonderlust, are we there yet? Summer holiday, uh, a blank one which comes from the larger set. I am going to see if I can find it quickly. Yeah, I'm going to. This is from this set, as you can see, the two longer ones. And this one says happy times. And um, I want it to look like a little bit like uh, washi tape with a text on it. But you can also tear it apart if you want or, or rip it off and then do some distressing. Um, I need to see the other sentiments because I stamped them a couple of times. So, Wanderlust, are we there yet? Summer holiday, here and now, vacation mood on, 
camping and adventure awaits two four six eight two four six seven there needs to be one more <laughs> that's not are we there yet no we already had that one uh, now okay now let me see if i can find the last one are we there yet time to travel that's it that's this one so they are really easy if you stamp them just trim them off and you have a really nice uh, sentiment to go with your journaling that's from this stamp set there's a ticket the cute little bear i used in one of the iris shutters and here are some more uh, traveling theme um, stamps and uh, sentiments and now last but not least book number four of course <laughs> And I am going to uh, walk you through it a little bit and tell you a little bit more about it. Well, again, we have uh, 32 sheets of 120 grams paper and 32 sheets of 250 grams paper. Um, so, you know, the sturdy one in the back and the thinner one in the front of the book. And I think I will start at the back, just showing you what's in it a little slowly. <laughs> And uh, of course we do have some cutouts, so over here you have some lovely uh, tags with flowers. They are a little bit blue purplish uh, colors and might be a, a bit different on this one, on these ones, because I printed those myself and these come from the printing company, so there's always a difference uh, in color with your printer and um, something which you buy. So really cool um, tags with enough room to put your own um, journaling uh, over here or over here or some extra stamping if you want so um, oh is it the most gorgeous one? <laughs> oh, thank you Susan uh, well some neutrals uh, ledger papers and it's all shades of blue light blue, dark blue, neutrals um, over here we have some uh, labels, cards, labels, and you can cut them, of course. There are three different ones where they're ready to go um, quote or sentiment. Some uh, blank ones over here. And as you can see here in the middle, there are some really uh, small quotes or quotes which you also can use. More than awesome, make this a priority to the moon and back and memorable experience which i don't see at the moment but it's also there some uh, vintage labels which you can cut out and use um yeah for your own journaling or stamping or whatever you like to do with it so that's <laughs> uh i will move on um background this is amsterdam by the way <laughs> because we are i'm from holland so i needed to put in amsterdam and if i'm correct this is new york yeah uh, from an old vintage uh, map so we've got new york and amsterdam this is also a, a bit delft blue <laughs> you know from holland uh, some numbers you can cut these out or maybe punch or die cut them and use them as decorative elements too now the more uh, again some layering with uh, some of my old um, and vintage uh, tags and ephemera another card uh, map sorry and again those uh, little labels and now we all have um, yeah vacation holiday themed um, sentiments over here if you don't like to use those sentiments of course you can put something on top of them so if you say, okay, I don't like the word bon voyage, put something like this on top of it and you can alter it anytime. Or washi tape or something else you want. So, but you can you can alter them if you want. Uh, so those are the labels. Here there's a large uh, quote over here, which I think is uh, very important um, Yeah, for doing things that you would love to do. So make the time and find the place to do it. So and here some cute pocket style um, elements again you can cut this out and put something behind on or you can journal on it again whatever you want 
some of those. Also in blue, we had those before in, I think it was the Christmas book, Christmas collection. And now I made a few blue ones for you. Um, so you can use those too in the same style. And some ledger pages, flower, neutrals. Oh, and these ones are really cool too. Little labels over here, as you can see. Some vintage ephemera over here. And these two are two library pockets with library cards. So you can cut them out. So it's like this, just fold them or use a bone folder and then you can slide a library card in here for journaling or pictures or something like that again. So that's um, this and I think we are almost through. More tickets, more layering, vintage papers. And yeah, it's all a little bit blue, green, purplish, but the main color is blue. <laughs> So I hope you like it um, as much as I do. Well, this was this for today. Well, exactly an hour, I think. <laughs> so um, uh, again, I apologize for not answering your question because there were so many things to tell. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, see all your comments. And please let me tell you again that um, the book and... Um, Everything is available in Europe at the moment. And uh, if you're in the US, Canada, or uh, something further away from us, please be patient. But uh, the planner is on its way already. And I think it's almost there, the journal. The dice are in stock in the US. Uh, only the book you have to wait for, for uh, a little bit longer because it has been printed in the Netherlands and it has to be shipped by boat uh, to the US. So, um, yeah. Please be patient for those two items. Um, for those of you who already ordered, I can't wait to see what you are going to create with it. And um, I'm hoping to see all your beautiful artwork uh, online very, very, very soon. So um, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a lovely a weekend and uh, a creative weekend of course okay thanks again for watching and i hope to see you soon bye bye